What this priest does with the nun in the middle of the night was captured on video, in the middle of expansive verdant meadows, the beautiful convent of Esti, Augustine stands as a symbol of serenity and calm, the nuns who live within its walls pray non-stop and bring comfort to the hurting souls who seek sanctuary here, Mary, a young woman with raven black hair and eyes that have been filled with tears frequently recently, is one of them, priest Father Gabriel, who is both towering and mild. Mannard, recognizes Mary's pain, he first notices her genuflecting in prayer during evening vespers, her delicate shoulders quivering, Father Gabriel comes over to her after he sees how hurt she is, his voice barely above a whisper as he asks, Child, is there anything heavy on your heart that you would like to share? Mary pauses, her eyes falling to the icy stone floor, you can feel the pain radiating from her, at long last. She begins to untangle the strands of her history, a past cast in. Shadow by the ominous presence of domestic violence, albeit her voice is unsteady, she describes her mother as battered and shattered and her father as hideous, after escaping that evil world, the two of them sought refuge in the convent's hospitable walls, her voice quivers with an underlying emotion as she dives deeper into her history, and Father Gabriel senses it but cannot quite grasp it. A mysterious link and mutual regard are the cornerstones of the friendship that develops with each. Exchange of words, the bonds of human emotion unite them despite the vast differences between their worlds, the distance between Mary and Gabriel, the guardian angel, continues to shrink as the days and weeks pass, an unspoken but evident thread of emotion runs through their shared glances during morning mass and their fleeting touches as they walk past each other in the sacred halls of the convent. Their bond becomes stronger during the periods of silence that are loaded with longing and Unspoken truths, Mary visits the church one fateful evening to meet Father Gabriel, as the stone walls of the convent are painted in the golden hues of the setting sun, her eyes convey a mix of dread and a ferocious determination, she clearly carries a heavy secret, I have something important to tell you, she whispers, her voice barely audible, Father Gabriel, acknowledging the seriousness of her remarks, subtly nods. Urging her to proceed, Mary takes a deep breath and opens up about her darkest. Secret, I'm pregnant, the discovery is as sudden as a flash of lightning, both Mary and Father Gabriel will be profoundly affected by this, a once comforting bomb, their link is now a potential storm that could disrupt their life at the convent, shortly after, the distant chime of the church bell breaks the eerie silence at the intersection of religion, love, and duty stand two spirits connected by a hidden truth. In the tranquil setting of St. Augustine, amidst solemn anthems and hushed prayers, an illicit connection takes hold, casting doubt on their chosen path, this is an age-old story about love triumphing in the most unlikely of settings, Mary's life story was intricately braided with moments of sorrow, love, and, ultimately, salvation, hidden beneath the simple whitewashed walls of her family's home was a sad secret for the small, devoted Christian community from which she hailed, her father, Juan, was a huge, intimidating man who had widespread respect in the neighborhood, but who, Unleashed a tempest of violent rage and aggression when she was home alone with him, the wrath of Juan fell primarily on Isabel, the mild-mannered mother of Mary, her eyes, which were once bright and lively, have grown more subdued with the years, testifying to the mental and physical torment she suffered, Mary would step in and try to protect her mother from Juan's wrath even when she was a little girl, under the cover of darkness. They would often cuddle up to one another, seeking solace in the embrace of another, and murmuring prayers for courage and deliverance as a whole, the community ignored Juan's evildoing because of its inflexible standards around marriage and decorum, the primacy of marriage in their view was such that any disagreements that occurred within its confines were considered personal issues, Isabel's cries went unheard, and they were ensnared in an endless round of suffering, Sister Alma, a caring nun from the nearby convent, was a savior, she was an Inspiration to Isabel and Mary with her calm expression and sweet voice, during one of her visits, Alma noticed Isabel's bruised arms and offered them sanctuary at the convent as a helping hand the convent became their haven after Alma's instruction, in sharp contrast to the chaotic environment at home, the sacred halls resounded with prayers and hymns, here, Mary's faith blossomed like a rose in the spring, and she first felt a profound connection to God, the chapel was a refuge for her and she would frequently pray there, seeking forgiveness and healing, sadly, the tranquility they had just experienced did not last, years of maltreatment had crippled Isabel, 
and she became very sick, Mary was devastated when Isabel died, despite the sisters and her own best efforts to provide her comfort in the depths of her anguish, Mary felt a newfound sense of purpose following her mother's death. When Mary's spiritual awakening became apparent to Sister Alma, she took her under her wing, she showed her the way to dedication and self-service through the scriptures, the faith that had sustained Mary through her lowest moments now shone brightly, after Alma had been an inspiration to her, she started to picture herself living a life devoted to God and serving as a lighthouse for others, Mary went from a vulnerable young girl to a strong believer after taking the sacred vows, she found purpose in helping others by sharing the comfort she had sought after overcoming her own struggles, even though her troubled past was still there, her unfaltering faith shone brightly in contrast to it, within the serene confines of the convent, Mary's tale became an ode to the redemptive power of religion, an account of perseverance, and an enduring tribute to fortitude and commitment, confidential matters flourished among the shadowy nooks of St. Augustine's convent. There were other people's souls entangled in a web of secret emotions besides Mary's tale of suffering and Salvation, a security camera was the source of an undetected flicker in one area of the room, an undercover observer, a young man called Elias, was lurking behind this lens ever since they crossed paths, Elias had been enchanted by Mary, he was ensnared by her tranquil manner and the mask of sorrow that she wore in her eyes, he grew more enamored with her with each chance encounter that occurred outside the monastery, she had unwittingly won his heart with her gentle voice and warm eyes being a Part of the convent security detail gave Elias an insight into Mary's life, which some may have found intrusive, the cameras, originally installed to protect the nuns, ended up becoming his only connection to her reality, a powerful cocktail of care, envy, and shame washed over him as he witnessed Mary in agony, revealing her innermost thoughts and feelings to Father Gabriel. As he started to understand the current chaos in Mary's life, a rush of emotions washed over him, Elias took a deep breath and approached Father Gabriel, his mind racing with the weight of the confession he had witnessed and his growing emotions, Father, I've had feelings for Mary for quite some time, I could tell by the look of intensity in his eyes, witnessing her immense distress compels me to consider the possibility that I may be unknowingly contributing to her present dilemma, despite his surprise. Elias's confession was welcomed with Father Gabriel's calm understanding but he was also an enduring symbol of the principles and customs upheld by the convent, Elias, the Lord has praised love as a powerful feeling. But the restrictions of this monastery are strict, he said, Mary is on a different road than you are because she has given her life to God, Elias, his expression betraying his desperation, said, Father, I know this is a sacred site, and I respect Mary's decision to come here, but if I cause her harm, I must take full responsibility, it breaks my heart to think that I might have made her feel worse, Elias. You are a good man, Father Gabriel said after carefully observing Elias, I can see the genuine emotion in your eyes, but love is more than a feeling, it requires selflessness and comprehension, you should respect the limitations set by this convent, Mary has made her choices, and your care is commendable, I respect Mary's choices, Father, Elias said his voice betraying his loss, it was important for me for you to understand my feelings for her and my willingness to be there for her at this difficult time, I get it. Elias, Father Gabriel said while nodding, remember that there are moments when you just need to love someone from a distance, standing by while they do what they want to do, the burden of silent love and a whirlwind of unresolved emotions weighed heavily on Elias as he departed from the chamber. This new narrative of silent yearning and unrequited love was housed within the walls of the convent, which had already witnessed innumerable tales of devotion and selflessness. As they went from the veil to the victor, the convent's muttering intensified, the holy walls of St. Augustine had been a haven for many after Mary's confession, but they became the setting for judgment and decision-making for Mary, meeting as a group, the seniors finally decided to remove Mary from her position as a nun, it was a severe repercussion, yet she handled it with poise despite her fears, Mary faced an unknown future as she left the safety of the monastery but a fire of resolve raged within her. Even though she had sinned in the sight of the church, she understood that atonement might happen anywhere, she set out on her path of repentance not in a state of hopelessness but of optimism, Elias materialized next to her, as if predetermined, he could have just been there, reassuring everyone without saying a word, after years of quietly watching her world from the sidelines, 
Elias yearned to immerse himself fully, I am not here to save you, Mary, rather, I am here to walk by your side, he whispered. Mary set out on a quest for self-knowledge accompanied by Elias, there was a great deal of danger and opportunity for new beginnings in the wide world outside the monastery, in order to escape the scrutiny and rumors from their past, they decided to go to a small village together, love, respect, and understanding were the cornerstones of the little house they constructed. Mary carried the lessons she learned in the monastery with her. She began community service projects to aid the downtrodden and provide emotional support to individuals who, like herself, had endured. Hardship, because of his expertise, Elias established a security consultancy to keep the neighborhood safe, the teachings of the convent informed their lives, which were characterized by a combination of service and love, a girl, whom they named Grace to reflect the grace and mercy that life had bestowed upon them, was born to the couple after many years of waiting, Grace was brought up hearing tales of St. Augustine, the mother she never knew, and the strong bond that had united her parents. Stories of perseverance, second chances, and undying love flourished in their house, which became a lighthouse for many, the pair began to see Street Augustine not as an outcast community but as a symbol of strength and determination as the years went by, as they saw Mary's metamorphosis, the nuns at the monastery came to see that doing good deeds for the world was sometimes the way to God. The town and convent records bear witness to their tale, it proved that love was more than a passing feeling. It had the power to overcome any obstacle, it emphasized that finding salvation was possible in various parts of life, not only in religious buildings. The story of Mary and Elias's existence gave hope to countless people, their presence served as a poignant reminder that true love triumphs over even the most unforgiving criticism, in spite of the hardships they endured. Their story showed that nothing was impossible when two people are willing to put their faith in one another and work together. Their love, and the idea that unadulterated love could do more than any other kind of redemption, would be their lasting legacy, above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, see you next time.